Ciao a tutti. Spero tu stia bene. Hello everyone. I hope that you are all doing really well. Okay. So I've created a few activities for you to practice your Italian while we are away from school. Now it's completely optional and you can feel free to do it any way you want and you are also okay to use the internet to help you with some translations if you need because I do appreciate it. It's been a very long time since we've had an Italian lesson. Okay, so the first thing that you could do is you could translate some of the phrases. Now I'm going to send the sheet along with this video. So I would like you to translate the phrases. So come si dice ciao nell'inglese. Come si dice ciao nell'inglese. E come si dice come tu chiami nell'inglese. Come si dice come tu chiami nell'inglese. Well, we did these questions at the very, very start of the year. So don't worry if you can't remember. Again, you can use the internet to help you. And finally, come si dice dove tu abito? Nell'inglese, come si dice dove tu abito nell'inglese? So, for example, ciao, mi chiami e Mr. Hunt. Io abito nel Chester. Io abito nel Chester. Mi chiami e Mr. Hunt e dove te, tu abito nel Chester. So, you just need to translate ciao, come tu chiami e dove tu abito. Okay, perfetto. Okay, prossimo. Guardati in tono a casa e trova. Guardati in tono a casa e trova. Next, what I would like you to do, if you want, is to find something in your house and then take a picture with it. And that something has to be rosso, azzurro or blue, nero, bianco, Rosa e verdi. Now, some of you might recognize these words. I'm hoping you do. Rosso, azzurro o blu. Nero, bianco, rosa o verdi. Again, if you need some help to find out what those words are, feel free to use uh, the internet to translate it for you. But I'd like you to go around your house and find something that is each one of them. Give you a clue. They're all different colors. Okay. So after that, if you're feeling a bit arty, you've managed to find some pens of those colours, I would like you to research some Italian food and drink items and then make a little menu. So you can choose any of your favourite items that you can put on a menu and create a menu like this. So on here, I've written some words that you might not understand, some words that you might recognise. And I've decorated it with pictures. So it says, il menu per oggi, or the menu per, for today. Cibo, which means food. Pollo, and I'm hoping a lot of you know what that is. Pollo con sugo pomodoro, that means chicken with tomato sauce. Tagliatelle, which in English is tagliatelle. Con pesto e basilico, tagliatelle with pesto and basil. And then, you know, a classic pizza, margarita, that does not need any translation. So for gelato, which I'm sure a lot of you know what that is. Fragola, or strawberry. Vaniglia. Vanilla, because the G and the L make an E sound. Vanilla, which is, of course, vanilla. And chocolata, which is chocolate. Now, for drinks, we've got l'acqua, aqua, water. Cola, which is Coca-Cola. L'acqua frizzante, or fizzy water, sparkling water. Te, which is tea. Zucca de frutta, which is fruit juice. And caffè espresso. And then we've got quite reasonable prices next to them as well okay so that's a little art activity that you could do so again you can make up your own menu of any items but the more colorful with the more pictures the better okay and the last activity that I've prepared for you are about il numero nel italiano il numero nel italiano or the numbers in italian okay so what you need to do is answer the maths questions and then, when you get the answers to the maths questions, so for example, the first one is tre ad quattro, tre ad quattro, which equals siete, or seven, okay? Then at the side of the sums, they will, there's a little box with a code in. So each number represents a letter, and that will make a phrase, and you can see if you can translate the phrase. So what you need to do is work out all of the sums, so tre ad quattro, 
3 ad 1, 2 times 1, 2 times 2, etc. Work out the numbers and then match them to the letters and that will create a phrase in Italian that you can again use the internet to translate. So I hope you guys are all well and I will be releasing an answer video to all of these questions. Uh, surely give it a few days and whatnot to let you have a chance at doing some of them. I hope you guys are all well and I'm sure we are all looking forward to seeing you soon. So thank you and I can't wait to see what you come up with.